Hey there guys, my name is Rick Utzer here and welcome to Airgun Expo 2022. We're super excited to have you guys along with us. We got a ton of really great content we're gonna be bringing to you guys all week and I hope you guys really enjoy it. You know, we have some great sponsors like Gateway to Air Guns is the major promoter for this event. And we also have Airgun Pro Shop and a slew of other great sponsors and those that are supporting what we're doing. I ask you to please visit www.theairgunexpo.com to learn about just all the great companies that are making this possible. You can click right on their logo, go take a look at their page, check out their products, and even connect with them right on that page, which I think is, is really cool, and I hope you guys will make good use of that. So guys, we are gonna go jump out to the range. We're gonna be taking a look at some really cool air gun product. So I hope you guys will come along with us, not only for this video, but all week. So definitely check out our website, www.theairgunexpo.com. And I hope you guys have a good time with us this week as we take a look at some great air guns. Hey there guys, it's Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, and we are at Airgun Expo 2022. Gosh, this has been something I've really been looking forward to, and I know that we're doing a lot of live stuff. Make sure you go to our website, theairgunexpo.com, to catch a schedule and make sure you know when everything's coming up. Now what we're doing out here, these are some pre-recorded videos that we're gonna be showing you guys through the week, as we've already sort of mentioned. We want to show you some of our favorite air guns. Bottom line, we've got some a great list of sponsors that you guys can see, and, and this is one of them. This is Air Arms. And while this is not a new gun, this is the S510 XS. It's regulated. Uh, it Just because it's not new doesn't mean it's not awesome. This is still my favorite air gun, period. I like it for a lot of reasons. Let me just walk through a couple things, and then we're going to do some shooting demos with it. And uh, then we're going to Gosh, grab another gun and do another video because we've got a lot to get done uh, for you guys this week. So this air gun is, as I said, it's regulated. Field pressure is 250 bar. You get about 40 shots on high power, and it does have a power selector. It's a transfer port selector, so you can't adjust the hammer spring, you can't adjust the regulator, but you can adjust how much air goes out the transfer port to drive the pellet, and that's really pretty good. There's a good range there that you can work with, and if you want to know those details like the power output and all the all those nitty gritty things i've done a bunch of videos on this so definitely just check that out at airgun web or also check out our grip reviews because we've covered this platform there as well links to all that will be in the video description the what i really really like about this gun besides the, the build quality and the shooting experience that's all in there that's somewhat subjective but the objective part uh, well maybe that is objective really <laughs> the build quality is pristine um it looks good, but when you take it apart, you start looking at how, well, how precisely all the internals are made and the attention to detail and the, the material quality, it's very, very good under the hood. So that is not something you get on maybe uh, the more affordable air guns. I mean, they shoot good, but the internals aren't built to this kind of specification. And I, that means something to me at this point in where I am in the sport. I like having those internals that are just really, really well built. Um, it just makes for, I don't know, for me, a nicer shooting experience. Now, the shooting experience is, as I said, awesome. The cocking arm is over here. It's liquid smooth. I mean, it's just buttery smooth. The trigger is fully adjustable. Um, the stock on this, this is the Ultimate Sporter stock. Um, they, they, they have a black sort of soft touch. I like the laminate. Personally, it's a little more money, but I really love the laminate wood stock a lot. It's fully adjustable. This kind of goes up and down, but can also adjust for rotation and cant. So that is, it's highly adaptable. When they talk about ultimate sporter, what they're talking about is if this is a hunting rifle and they want you to be as comfortable as possible with this. It has a rail, slotted rail up here where you could use one of the little adapters to put a bipod on this. So it is really designed for you to go out and go hunting with it. You know, you can put, um, it's got swivel studs. That's what the L stud would give you up here. So it's very, very nice that way. Power outputs probably in the 40 foot pound range, depending on where you are um, on the pressure. Now that is with 25 cal and that is what we are shooting today. Oh gosh, sorry, the mag went flying. Um, I really like 25 caliber. Uh, I, I shoot mostly 25s, I think, when we were looking at the, the video list that we're going to be doing on these um, the, these kind of pre-recorded fun videos, a lot of the guns are, t are 25. And I guess as I'm kind of looking at that, I really like the 25 as a caliber. Um, I like 22 as well, but 25, something about it, it like has enough 
weight and mass to buck the wind. You still get good velocity. You, you get very good energy. And there's a lot of guns that give you a ton of range for power from like 30 to 40 foot pounds up to 100 foot pounds, depending on the gun. So this won't do that. This won't do 100 foot pounds, but it'll do a solid 40, which is very, very nice. We're set up at 50 yards now. Uh, Angie, as you guys know, does all of her grip reviews. She's here for uh, Airgun Expo, and she cited this for me. So the first few shots, if they're not bullseyes, I'm blaming Angie, all right? So that's how that's going to work. She's over there grinning. So she is, she's right here watching all this. So I'm not saying this behind her back. She's right there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take aim here, and I'm aiming at the top left, well, the left target. Let's see where this puts it. i got to adjust the scope a little bit here oh, that looks pretty good all right 50 yards we're shooting a hawk scope here i think this is the hawk frontier this might have been an, uh, an older frontier model super super nice scope uh first focal plane from what i can tell the reticle too all right here we go first shot this is all on angie whether or not we hit the bull or not Oh, we're in the black. She did a good job. <laughs> she did a good job. Let's take a few more shots here. Okay, so it's super quiet. Okay, those are two shots touching. Now, if you want something quieter, this really doesn't have like a threaded muzzle. It is threaded, but they have a special end cap. So I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure somebody out there has probably made an adapter for this if you guys want to run an additional moderator but the barrel is shrouded and it does have some baffling type stuff going on i don't find it that loud but some people may find it loud i, I used to shoot this in my backyard in lake havasu so i found it backyard friendly maybe you will maybe you won't but i think it's perfectly fine but i bet you there's somebody out there that's probably made an adapter for this if you want it quieter Oh, don't shoot your camera, Rick. There it is. Oh, bad pellet. We're going to say that was a bad pellet, all right? Not a bad, not a bad shot. It was a bad pellet. That's what we're going to do with that, okay? Two left. Yeah, that last shot just went through the group of the others. It was you barely heard any impact on the paper. Okay, so this gun for me goes in the boringly accurate class. Um, whether you have got one, I mean, you can take you can take one of these out of the box, put glass on it, and it's going to give you exceptionally good results. That is another thing that I really love about air arms. You don't have to fight with them; they just work, and I love that about the products they make. They, they are, look, they're a sponsor, yes, but it's still my favorite air gun. <laughs> Guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, we've got, gosh, a huge week. If you want to know more about anything you see, whether this video or any of our videos, check out the video description because we'll have everything, uh, we'll have everything listed out there. Guys, we're going to go shoot some more videos here for Airgun Expo. So I hope you guys have a great week with us. Enjoy some great Airgun content and uh, thanks for watching.